Welcome back to Hard West. Alright, let us continue with the story of Inquisitor Gabriel de Cervantes. So let's check this guy out. Alright, so I have him and I have Joaquin Perez. He's got a shotgun and Canon Calavera. Joaquin Perez's personal weapon, adorned with traditional Mexican ornaments, does massive damage. And a shotgun. Less damage, or no, Western Rifle, my bad. Weaker damage, good range, lots of ammo. And the Inquisitor's got a 10 gauge double barrel shotgun and the Judicator, which is a not particularly powerful but highly accurate pistol. Highly accurate is good. You get any cards? I got a few. But I don't have to worry about these too much until I get to the next combat scenario. All right. So, let's visit some areas. I got a thousand gold to play with. There's Wretchport. There might be some shopping to be done there. There's a harbor, farm, doctor, trapper camp, fate trader, gunsmith. It would be cool if you could just walk in the game to like areas that don't specifically have stuff in them and discover stuff by accident, but I've never had that happen. I don't think that can happen. I think areas pop up due to um, scripted events. Let's check out the Fate Trader. Hey! My man! What do you got? Your dust bomb, relic, repeater rifle, revolving revolver, doomsday watch, snake with the boots. I mean, plus two damage is pretty awesome. Snake with the boots, plus one damage, plus six movement, minus one max HP. Eh. I mean, overall, that's a win, but I don't like the one minus one max HP. Revolving Revolver, on the other hand, though. I mean, 48 ammunition. That might be a little bit, a little bit crazy. Peter Rifle. I think I'm going to hold off and see what kind of weapons they have at the gunsmith. Relic. That is useful, and it's cheap, so I might as well buy it. I can buy a couple of these. Oh, I can only buy one, huh? Lancaster pistol. Really poor damage, but two shots per turn. And four ammunition. So it's basically uh, an improved der uh, Derringer. And a 10 gauge shotgun. I already have one of those. This is a single shotgun. So it only holds one ammo, which kind of sucks. In fact, I'm going to sell it for that reason because it doesn't seem very useful. Cash and trade. Doctor. This house belonged to Ryan Harmon, a well-known doctor. He had a reputation for treating anyone, but they far be they farmer or outlaw, so long as they remunerated his expenses and effort. He even ventured out to treat the natives once in a while when they needed more than their shaman could provide. He was honored by the Inquisitor's visit and offered him discounted services. I don't need his services right now, though. Let's see. The gunsmith has to offer. John Christensen was the mild, prosperous, middle-aged proprietor of the shop. He guaranteed a wide selection of formidable guns at reasonable prices. He greeted Cervantes politely, offering him a discount in consideration of the Inquisitor's respectable position. 
Oh, sweet. Does it have all the stuff I unlocked in the previous one? I'm glad I went through all that then. Because I can get some... Oh, yeah, I can get the awesome guns. Is that it? I'm surprised it leaves this much room. I guess I maybe I unlock some more guns. Look at this thing. 12 gauge defender. Four double shotguns. The dance on a revolving mechanism. Cone shot. Damage six, heat two, ammunition four. Oh my goodness. That is fan frickety tastic. Revolver rifle. Let's return. Really crappy damage, though. Chain revolver. Really crappy damage. Golden Marager. Basically, like the Lancaster pistol. It's almost. Exactly the same. Short range, four ammunition, three damage. This one is what? One heat, one damage versus cover, one damage versus full cover. It's exactly the same. It is exactly the same gun. Yep. Navy gun. Twelve shooter. Never a bad thing to have uh, extra ammo. Does extra damage against uh, half cover, which is cool. Okay, no pistol. Nice and powerful. Still pretty good amount of ammo, extra damage against. I might pick and scoop that up as a matter of fact. Shotgun. Uh, scope custom rifle. This is a useful one. I always like to have a, um, a sniper rifle. It's not expensive either. Chain rifle. It's, it's only one shot, but it has that um, aimed shot that's basically a 100%. Steadfast pistol. Yeah, so comparing this uh the the, the, the quadruple shotgun aim fifteen. Oh wow. Aim fifteen, damage five. Uh, ammunition four. Compare that to the defender. Damage six. Ammunition four. But this one's got such a massive aim bonus. I think I'd rather have this. And it's cheaper too. I'll take the scoped rifle. Take a volcano pistol. So I like the extra damage against half cover. Lots of damage, although the gun he already has is pretty good. The extra aim is nice. Less damage. Now let's just buy these two. Stick with that for now. This Lancaster pistol, I don't think I'm ever going to use it. had a huge economic impact on the region. Ships laden with goods and passengers arrived there every day before continuing their journey on land. Those that stuck around in town tended mainly to be traders, caravaneers, sailors, and prostitutes. It would be a melting pot if scum could melt, and somewhere among them was a member of the order. 
Oh, they let the... I think this means I just kill everybody. I'd rather not do that. I'm playing an evil dude, but... That's gonna attract attention. Thanks to the nearby harbor, Wretchport, while not large, was a bustling town. Strong law enforcement kept the town safe and the market offered a good variety of wares. Oh good, I need the liquor. And I need the dried meat. I don't remember how many I need. I needed uh, two bottles of liquor, I believe. I needed five bottles of, uh, or five pieces of dried meat. some sturdy shoes. Tobacco I already have two of. Buy a couple more. Okay. So now I can go back to the altar do some of these rituals. Why, well, I happen to have two bottles of liquor. Ram took a few sips, then poured most of the first bottle into the cauldron. He put the second bottle away for later. Then he proclaimed that the man he, they, that needed to die was Laszlo, the dock worker's foreman. What about the trapper's camp? Ron knew some from the trapper's camp in the woods was an order member. I have five pieces of dragon. Ron took the first four pieces of meat and chewed on each one before spitting it into the cauldron. He swallowed the last one. After a few moments, the stew began bubbling intensely. Ron nodded silently. The man they were looking for was William Tanner. I don't believe I have what I need for the third ritual. Yeah, I don't have a rabbit's foot. But I have the man I need at two locations. So, there's the trapper camp. There's the harbor. Which one to do first? Let's go to the harbor first. Using the information they had, they only killed the order member. With his powerful voice, Cervantes proclaimed that a sinner was in their midst who would soon bring doom to them all. When he told them it was Laszlo, the man was immediately chained and brought forth. Cervantes looked at him with disdain, then made a dramatic gesture. The wretch was torn apart by the crowd. None of them noticed the cipher piece pop out of his body allowing Cervantes to quietly pocket it and take his lead. Alright, that was easy. Uh, let's visit this farm. It was one of the larger farms in the area and an important food source for the region. Somewhere among the men and women working in the fields was a member of the order. Well, I'm not going to kill them all unless I have to. I'm not sure where I'm going to get a rabbit's foot from, but... I don't believe there was one at the Fate Trader. Nope. Let's go to the Trapper's Camp. In the woods, they found a group of mountain men. These formidable hunters and tanners contributed most of the leather goods in the area. Slaughtering them would have, an, would have economic consequences. Well, before I kill anybody, let's see what they have to offer. Ah, oh, rabbit's foot. And now we kill that guy. Cervantes confided in the men that one William Tanner had been seen in this area and he was involved in the black arts. If they had experienced any bad luck lately, it was undoubtedly his fell presence that caused it. 
The men delivered swift justice, rustling, rustling, rusting Tanner with kicks, then carrying him to the main camp and nailing him to a tree. Cervantes told them he must now remove the source of evil and cut the cipher piece from Tanner's abdomen using a ceremonial dagger, telling the men he had saved countless lives through their selfless actions that day. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm almost being more evil this way. Instead of just slaughtering everybody by having, by turning the other people against that guy and having them slaughter him. Ah, good times. Sweet, I have the rabbit's foot. And I can do the ritual. Oh, I meant to go here, but all right. Let's see what they have for sale. Uh, try dealing with these, these will be useful. Equal elixir. Um, that's similar to tobacco. This is probably stronger. Let's buy two of those. Healing elixir is very useful. They're essentially stronger version. Eh, buy a more. And drink powder. Eh, no. Lucky coin. Minus one max HP plus 35 max luck. Eh, useful for using abilities, but no, no thanks. I'm down to 625. I still got plenty of money. And I have a rabbit's foot right here. Ram shredded the rabbit's foot into pieces and threw them into the cauldron. Then he could see the man clearly. It was Mike Mudgett, one of the farmhands at the farm of the north. that Raum identified was dead. It was time for the Inquisitor to meet up with him again. Cervantes introduced himself as a man of God on a mission of utmost importance. He told the foreman that Mike Mudgett was part of an unholy cult and that for the sake of all their souls he must be purged. Shocked by this revelation, the foreman plucked Mudgett from the fields, then bound and impaled him. To the cheers of the farmers, Cervantes then put fire to the man's body. When the people had dispersed and Mudgett was a pile of human-shaped ash, Cervantes discreetly grabbed the revealed cipher piece. The collected cipher pieces weren't close, uh, close to enough to assemble the device. Ram was looking at the bonfire blankly, when suddenly he shivered and grabbed his head in pain. He had had a vision. The leer was at the church to the north. Ram said that if Cervantes brought him two doses of opium, his visions would be clear, granting them a strategic advantage. Raum's vision directed the Inquisitor towards the house of worship. The mystic assured him that the leer would be there. Does this guy have opium? Do I have open? Sure, the gunsmith doesn't have any. Fake trader. There's the church. Oh, there's another area. Ah, Chinese trader. Oh, he's probably got opium. At the crossing, Cervantes met a middle-aged Chin middle Chinese man, enjoying a moment of rest during his journey to the west. The man was friendly and polite, offering his wares to the Inquisitor. So he wants two doses of opium. Opium does the da da da, the bill takes movement, but increases HP and. How 
by four, because I might use some of them myself. And nail bombs, those are useful. I'll buy both of those. Gas bombs, damage over time, stun bomb, built a smooth enemy. You want your opium? The strategic advantage better be worth it. After much grinding, cooking, and sniffing, Ram seems satisfied with his inter infernal stew. He sat with his face over the, the top of the pot, inhaling deeply. Then, in a sonorous voice, declared he had been visited with a vision. A secret passage led to a shed behind the church. The order was not aware of it. Cervantes and Perez could use it to take them by surprise. And I will. That was indeed worth it. They stood on a nearby hill looking down at the church, contemplating their next move. Their trust in Ram's visions was measured at this point, but attacking the church still seemed their best bet. Armed guards on the premises confirmed that something important was going on there. Okay, first off, let's trade out this crappy shotgun for this awesome shotgun. And his Judicator's still good because of the high aim. In fact, both these weapons have really high aim, which is very good. Give him, well, give him the shoes or the watch. Let's do damage. Doing a lot with these. They're both short range weapons, though. Still, I'm gonna give him the watch. Alright, usable items. He's got the elixir. Relic for healing, but he's got the elixir for healing. Let's give him the nail bomb. He's got his hand cannon, which is awesome. His western rifle, which we're going to trade in for this scope rifle. Much less ammo, but this thing is awesome at long range. And let's give him the shoes. Let's give him some healing elixir. He's probably going to be at long range mostly using this, so Nail Bomb might not be as useful. Tobacco, on the other hand, useful. And the card screen. Alright, so I've got a pair of aces. That's about the best hand I can make. Um, I don't have enough of a single suit to make a flush. I don't have... Can't make a straight. Yeah. So right now Cervantes has terror. And Joaquin has ricochet. Which is useful. Let's see Ace. Uh, it's Crippler. Scavenger. Ignored by enemies at setup stage. That is useful. Probably more useful for him since I want him to be closer. Artery shot. Plus hit points. Okay. Easy enough. Here. Here. This is just high card plus eight sight. Give him the two aces. He gets a pair. Even more extra movement. So he's gonna have super duper movement. Which should help him get into positions where he can snipe from. 
Let's do this. The Grand Inquisitor could not wait to spill Solomon's blood. He swore the old adventure would die that night. A tunnel enabled them to enter the premises unseen. The church was heavily guarded. Something important was going on in there. Yay, I have a UI! Okay. Can I see enemies from here? I'm still set up stage right now. So no one's actually shooting at me just yet. Okay, right now I can see out this window. There's nobody over here. Could be someone here. I can see out this door, so no one directly out front, but could be someone here or here. So first things first, let's bring him over here. And there's a person there. Hasn't been alerted to my presence yet. Bring him here. There's a bucket I could ricochet off. Let's bring him here. I'm gonna bring him over to here. Don't see anybody over there just yet. Bring the Inquisitor there. Him over here. And that guy's not in cover, so he's going to be an easy kill right here. I think I might have just alerted him. Let's bring him over here. See what's around the corner here. Anybody else? Oh, there's a guy there. There's a guy there. Okay. He's there. Got his shotgun. And get him to full cover. And I'm, that guy's a dead man once I open up on him. So I know there's a guy there. I know there's a guy there. There's probably some people inside, so sitting right here might not be the best idea because someone could come running out that door. There could be someone in this barn too. So let me go over here. I don't see anyone in the barn. He can stay put. Let's come over here. Could be someone on the shitter. I could potentially stealth this and get right into the church and only kill the Lear. over to the shitter. I don't want to get a surprise by someone there. And we'll stay put. Right, so there's no one in the shitter. So I'm thinking come over here and then I'll open up. I can kill this guy and then I'm in a pretty good defensive position. If someone comes running out that door they'll have a clear shot on me though. Which is uncool. So you know what, in here might be a better spot. I'll still have clear shots and I'll be better defended. I 
Alright. This guy is about to die. Go with the shotgun. Oh, no, 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 no. I am not looking to subdue him. I'm just going to shoot him is what I'm going to do. There's no subduing here. Everybody here is going to die. I'm not doing this one quiet. Seven damage. Woo! Totally unnecessary when I could use... Actually, I get a better percentage with the shotgun. So, you know what? Fine. Woo! That guy's all types of dead. I'm in a good defended position. 79%. 74%. And for this guy, 71% or 100%. Think I'm in full cover. This guy's gonna get to cover. Move on up. How would you guys like a little bit of cone action, huh? Oh, it's only 60 to 62 percent, unfortunately, but I'm gonna take that chance. Nice. At least I got one of them. It was worth it. Now, let's see. Where can I get? Can I get to somewhere where he won't? I have to pass through his cone to get to a position where I get a clear shot on him. percent to damage. Before I do anything, let me reload my rifle. And then if nothing else, I could probably just kill him outright with an aimed shot next round. So instead, I could run over here. Well, I'm not sure if that's a better spot. I haven't seen anybody come out of the house yet, though. So this might be a better spot. Oh, that's... Oh, he didn't fire. Cool. And he's way out in the open. Oh, you done messed up, you dummy. too easy. And this guy's in cover, but you know what? It doesn't matter if I use the scope shot, but it still only does two damage then. But I could get over here, open this up, and he's now no longer in cover. And now he's got a problem. 79%. I can't use the aim shot from here because it requires both action points, but I can take this 79% shot, which should be pretty good. Very nice. Alright. We will reload. I'm up to three shots and move into position here. I don't need to reload with this gun, but I might anyway. So there's this entrance, there's that, and there's the front entrance here. There's another whole building over here. There might be all sorts of stuff in there. I'm kind of, uh, there's a chest. Doesn't look like I can open it, though. It would have an icon over it. Alright, 
let's just head towards the church. Might as well reload. I'll move in next round. So my first move, I'll go over here. I can't. I have to open the door first. To Cervantes' surprise, there was but one lone soul inside the church. None. Her name was Sister Rosario Aiza, and she was a prisoner of the order. Well, I don't want to shoot her. She's tied up. This is this looks like a trap though. Um I need to be careful how I approach this. Ah, there's a chair in the way. That would have been a prime position to get him to cover. Let's get over here. Sister Rosa was a supporter of the order until she discovered Delir was using a clairvoyant to stay one step ahead of their enemies. Believing this was blasphemy, she tried to turn the others against him. That's when Delir imprisoned her in the church. He would use her as a bait to lure the Grand Inquisitor into the church. She prayed for deliverance, not realizing that her prayers were answered by the forces of darkness. Now I'm gonna get attacked. All right. I should probably want. I want to get him upstairs. She can move. Um, what does she have? She's got a shotgun and a six shooter. That's a good defensible position for her. I don't know which side they're coming from. I can't see them yet. Um, let's bring her over here. That's a good position for him. I might see one approach. Well, actually, he's got some cover from this side. Yeah, that's a good... You'll see someone coming from this way, right. He's used up all his movement points. All right. No idea where they're coming from. I can't hear anybody. Here's someone. All right, someone's coming from here. Him, I want to get upstairs. Oh, did someone come through this way? Up these... Uh, someone might have come up the stairs. Alright, you know what? I'll move him here. Uh-huh. 100% chance. You are dead. These two, I think I'm going to have them stay put. Doesn't need to reload anything. I might as well reload this. Adjudicator is fine. Okay.
I'm gonna send her back here. I'm gonna send him up here, for now over to here, because I want to get him upstairs. He's got the long range rifle. And the Inquisitor is going to stay right where he's at. <laughs> oh, good thing I had half cover. But that guy's going to be dead next turn. Oops. He took a shot, so he doesn't have, um, whatchamacallit, um, oh, he does, okay, I can't get him, ah, crap, alright, we'll move him up to here, there's another guy out there. He's got six health. Well, luckily I have this really powerful pistol that does sucks damage. Imagine that. That's done. And her. We will move her up to here. set up for a cone shop. Do I have tobacco first or something? I have a nail bomb. Oh man, a nail bomb would be awesome right here. <laughs> yes. Yes. Give them the nail bomb. <laughs> oh, it didn't kill them. That's a bummer. Okay. Ah, son of a bitch. I can't get her far enough with one turn where she could take a shot. I'm just gonna have her stay where she is, I guess. I should have gone with the cone shot. Fifty two percent, nine percent. This guy, same. This luck must be just about spent. I could actually... No amount of luck's gonna save you from this. There we go. And she's gonna stay where she is.
Actually, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I have another nail bomb, don't I? No, I only have the one. Damn. the ricochet off of. Cool. She's staying put. Oh, you're out in the open. That's too bad for you. There's three attackers left. Him, I'm going to bring him upstairs. She's in a good spot. He's in a good spot. Gonna have him reload. Wait, what, what happened? Why can't I reload? Doesn't have any more... Uh, oh, he fired. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so the attackers are not moving. He might be in there. Let's move him. We've got more windows. Let's move him to here. Maybe I can see someone over there. Anyone? No? Now we'll reload. Shall move him to here. Her, I hate to have her leave the building, but okay, looks like I'm gonna need to move. So let's have her go over here. I can do this with one, one turn. Nobody in here. Okay, let's move over here then. Him. Can bring him to here and he could see out these windows, I think. Don't see anybody. Alright, so they're probably not over here. I would have seen them. He's uninjured. But well, let's get into a good defended spot like here. Ah, uh, okay, we got someone right there. in cover. Okay. I don't think he's seen me yet. That's probably the people are, that are left are in there. So him being up here is not going to do me any good. Unfortunately. Ah, uh, there's another guy up on the top. Oh, he just came downstairs. Okay. I'm going to move here. I won't be able to fire, but no one will be able to fire on me. Same token, I'm going to move him here. Uh -huh, there's another person in there. Alright, now I know where everybody is. Too bad I don't have another nail bomb, but it is what it is. She's in full cover. to get her closer, but I'd like to keep her in full cover. Everywhere else is half cover, which is unfortunate, but it looks like I might have to do that. 
I could get her all the way up to here. It should probably cause him to come running. Might, he might come running out the building and then take a free shot at her, which is uncool. I could get her here. That's a good idea. She'll still be in full cover. We'll get a shot off this round, but there he goes. You done messed up. Now I can take her, put her here. And this guy is now out in the open, and that's a problem for him. Not the greatest chance in the world, but still worked. Move him here. And look at that, a guy wide, wide open. Just waiting to get shot. I think the staircase is going to be in the way for me to shoot him here, right? I can't shoot through that. Oh, I can. Okay, that's... I think I should be able to shoot the guy through the stairs, but you know what? I'm not going to question. The final enemy met his end, and Sister Rosa was now free. Sweet. Cervantes convinced Sister Rosa that he was a servant of light and wanted what she wanted. An end to Solomon Delir's blasphemy. Rosa directed them to someone who might know the identity of the clairvoyant. Gustav Wedholm, a local banker who was once the Order's paymaster. He was an opium addict and an embezzler and was forced to leave in disgrace. But because of his former position, he knew the identity of every member of the secret society. Sweet. All right, we will meet with this opium addict next time.